Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh with Porter Valley Ranch and Hobby Farms. We're here today to talk about biting lice and sheep and goats, what the signs and symptoms are, how you can prevent it, and how you can treat it. So as a producer of ruminant animals, you always have to be on the lookout for parasites. Coming into the spring, you've got barber pole worms, you've always got coccidia, you've got a number of different things that you need to be looking for. But coming out of the winter, in the cooler months, you need to be looking for biting lice. Here are some of the signs and symptoms you're gonna be looking for. Some of the signs and symptoms of biting lice in sheep include itching, restlessness, wool loss, and skin irritation. You're gonna be looking for places, especially around their face, away from the heavy wool areas, where you can see that they're losing their hair. Also, if you grab onto one of these animals and you can easily pull their hair or wool away, it could be a sign of wool loss. Wool loss can be a result of both parasites, also of high fevers, but it is one of the things to be looking for. Also, if you see your sheep or goats rubbing up against trees or fences or things like that, that might be a sign that biting lice have come into your flock. Skin irritation is one of the ways you can tell. Sometimes around the face, around the nose and neck, you will notice that their skin is irritated, it looks red and rashy. Those are some of the things you look for with biting lice. Other signs might include anemia, be checking the eyelids to make sure that they are in a healthy state, weight loss, and decreased milk production in nursing use. With hair sheep and goats, you can look for areas on their side where they might have been biting themselves. It might look like a cowlick or an area of the hair that's going the wrong way. That's a sign that they might have been biting themselves to get rid of those parasites. Biting lice are one of those parasites that can be in your herd or your flock at any point. But during the cooler winter months, whenever sheep and goats are huddled together to get away from the cold or out of the weather, sometimes it's easier for these things to spread and multiply when those animals are all huddled together to get out of those elements. To treat biting lice, you want to use an insecticide that is specifically designed to treat lice. Here on our farm, we're going to use two common things today to take care of those and any other parasites that these sheep might have. We're going to be using Dectamax and Ivermectin. But always check with your veterinarian for specific things that you should use and how to use them. There are also some organic and natural methods that you can use to treat these lice. You can go with the diamaceous earth, which is a powder that you can put on the sheep or in their area. You can also shear the sheep or shear the goats. If you get the hair gone, just like with humans, if they have less hair, there's less chance of an infestation. But here where it's too cold for us to go ahead and shear our sheep yet, we're gonna go ahead and treat them medicinally. 